Hello, ladies and gentlemen, loyal Imperial citizens and rebel scum alike. Welcome to another Leah Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes today, where I'm really excited to be taking a first look at the new Galactic Challenge game mode. Now, this is the first new game mode to arrive in Galaxy of Heroes in, like, forever. Um, I know there's been a lot of anticipation building up around this. Uh, a lot of people have renewed interest in the game. Uh, because of this and I'm really excited to give it a look right now so let's get going All right, so this is my first time looking at this. I have no idea what to expect. So the first challenge is the Tatooine Separatist Challenge. Um, there's a bonus for Sith, whatever that means. So level 60 plus, overcome familiar foes with powerful modifiers and complete feats to earn extra rewards. Okay, so wow. So there's a lot to take in here just on this screen. So it looks like there's several different tiers. The enemies, as they said, were facing Separatist droids led by Groove Wat Tambor is there too. Feats. Um, on target, Sith Quintet, gear level 7, flawless victory, calculated risk, timer 15 minutes. Um, wow, there's a, there's a lot to take in here. And then the rewards at the bottom looks like there's some Dooku shards and various gear. Okay, global modifiers, sandstorm, what does that mean? Oh, I can't seem to click on that. That's, that's kind of strange. And then player modifiers, grim machinations, and malicious minions. Uh, they're all level one. I can't click on these. This is this is a little little odd. It's taking me a while to kind of get used to this menu. Um, I guess maybe the best thing to do is I'll just give it a go. I'm just going to give the battle a go and uh, and see how we do. So yeah, let's see. Okay. So who should I use? So since we're fighting separatists and we're on Tatooine, um, I could just go with my most powerful squad. I don't think so though. It doesn't look like they had particularly powerful gear. Um, maybe let's go for a themed squad. What about Padme? What if I brought in my Padme squad? That seems thematically appropriate. Padme, Anakin, Ahsoka, Clone Wars, Chewbacca, and Barriss Offee. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 61,000 uh, power. Let's see how we do. First go, let's just give it a shot. Okay, so, boom. This is it, tier level one. So I guess we're going for a flawless victory, trying not to lose anyone. Definitely want to take out Wat Tambor first. It looks like that team is pretty weak. I think this is not going to be boom. This is not going to be much of a galactic level challenge. Kind of overshot with the team here, but there's so many tiers that shouldn't be an issue. So let's just take out that destroyer droid, boom, and Grievous, bye bye. Perfect, okay. Easy, first one down. So rewards, okay, so basically five dot mod and some training droids, that's it. Okay, so then I did get the flawless victory, okay, which gave me some kind of useless gear and some uh, fleet store currency. So it's, it's saying recommended tier level three. I guess that's based on the power that I brought to this one here. They're recommending I move to tier level three. Okay, um, but then those other, so okay, so you're getting different gear based on the different feats, I see. So if I completed the Sith one, which I don't know if I can do, my Sith team, I haven't really geared up my Sith team. And if we look through, okay, so that changes. So the different tiers, you're getting different, better level gear, better rewards, and these tiers keep going, wow. Wow, so right the way up to tier seven, there is no way I can do tier seven. Tier three might actually be the best that I can do at all. They might be spot on on that. Um, I guess let's give tier, let's give tier two a go though. Let's see what we can do here. I guess we'll go for another another flawless victory. Let's see. Let's see what uh, what tier two brings. I think I'm going to switch the team up. Um, but I think I'm going to try and stay themed. I'm going to give clones a go. Let's do it. Should be fun. All right. I think again I'm going to want to take out Wat Tambor before he can really pass around any buffs. So it's definitely a more powerful uh, enemy that I'm up against. I still think... I am I'm still way overpowered here, so this should not be an issue, but, but they're definitely beefed up, more protection and generally more health, but look at that, Grievous is gonna, yeah, barely anything, boom, boom, we got it, perfect, another flawless victory for the Galactic Republic. So getting pretty consistently those, those five dot mods, that's pretty good. Cool, so there you go, it recommended uh, tier three. We just completed tier two with Flawless Victory and got some decent gear out of that. 
Um, I guess maybe let's let's move on. Let's try and do let's try and do tier tier three. Should we just give that a go? See how far we can get with this today. Um, what about if I mix it up again? Um, you know what? I'm gonna throw in a Jedi team. Let's try my Jedi B string team, but let's try and under underdog it here. Let's try and get that underdog reward. This might whoa. Okay, so this was quite a jump up. In, in their power here. They're a lot more powerful and this is not a team that has big damage output. I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. But let's see, let's see. I have faith in uh, Basila Shan's leadership, so... Yeah, we are, we are not... Oh, wow! Bye-bye Plo Koon. Ouch. Ouch. We are not doing anything like enough damage. We haven't even taken out Wat Tambor, and he's throwing around those extra... Okay, boom. Bye-bye, Wat Tambor. Now we've got some momentum, but I think... I think this might be too little too late. Priscilla-Shan's really the only one able to do any damage here. Well, okay, bye. Bye, Yvkoth. Nice to have you around for a minute. Looks like Luminara is going to join you in a second. Maybe if we can take out that Magna... Magna Guard, I'd consider this a victory, even though it is definitely going to be a loss. Boom! Bye-bye Magna Guard. Okay. Oh! Bye-bye Luminara. Okay. Wow. So we went from being completely overpowered to being just completely underpowered here. This is a massacre. I guess we took out two. We took out Watanbor and the IG-100 Magna Guard. Boom! Bye-bye. Defeat. Definite defeat. Okay. Well, we gotta do that. We gotta... I feel like I have to do this. I have to... This is the recommended tier for my power level. I, I have to do this. I'm just going to throw in... Maybe this will be overkill. I don't know. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's still, still go for War Tambor. Can I take him out? Boom. Okay. Easy. This is more like it, folks. This is more like it. Shall I use the Marked? Uh, no, I'm not going to use the mark. I'm going to try and save that for Grievous. Although, I don't know, maybe I should have done it. Maybe damage today is better than damage tomorrow. Okay, so Magna God is almost down. Boom. Yeah, I'm still going to save it. Even after all that, I'm still going to save it. Try and get it on Grievous. Alright, let's take out this Droid car, and then we got it. Oh, okay. Boom, we can switch to Grievous. Perfect. So, at this point, I'm not even sure I need to use Mark on Grievous. And I don't. So, let's just throw it at the, the Destroyer Droid. There we go. That was more like it. Now, that's the flawless victory on Tier 3 that I needed. But it did require my most powerful squad, so there you go. Wow, this is a lot of fun. So, there's a lot of, of kind of uh, different things you have to take into account here. Um, and you're def- okay, so there's some... Uh, Sith Trooper uh, Lobster Shards to be had there as well, so I guess, yeah, let's just try the next tier up. So this is tier 4. Oh, okay, so this is Malicious Minions Summon Sifters, allies of plus 50 speed, max health protection, damage they deals increased by 50%. Wow, okay, so that's quite a buff for them. Oh, what is that there? What is that? Oh, okay, I can't click on it because Magna Guard is taunting, but it's like that X, I've never seen that. Uh that extra droid there in the background. Wow. Okay. So I think we're just going to have to go ahead and use Mark to We just really need to get rid of Wat Tambor. Perfect. Otherwise it's going to start throwing around too, too many buffs for everybody. Magna Guard is just annoying. Get rid of him. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, I'll just get rid of Poggle. He's kind of useless, but still... Ouch. Okay, so definitely taking some real damage here this time. Uh, let's do this. Bye-bye, Poggle. Okay, so this is our chance maybe to take out Grievous. Okay, now just down to these, these weird little droids. A sniper droid. Okay. Do not like the look of that. Ouch! Whoa! CLS was sniped! 
I see. That's... Wow, that was pretty powerful. Boom. Okay, so that was a summon. So I guess it had extra damage there, and then it just disappeared at the end after we took out the droid Akarma. Wow. Okay, and that's some pretty high-end uh, gear there. So those are um, materials that you need to slice mods. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... It's weird that I can't I can't click on these here to get more information about them. Uh, that's that's kind of odd. But nah, I guess I guess it is what it is. So I guess let's let's go back to to tier one and maybe let's see if we can throw in some 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 Sith synergy there maybe. Now my my Sith team I think tier one will be the only team that I can actually do any damage with on the Sith, because I, I don't have them geared up, as you can see, it's really only Palpatine and Vader um, that I've got geared up. I guess I'll just throw in the rest, Dooku, uh, Maul, and then Sidious there, and we'll just see how we, just see how we do with this, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so again, this is the really, right back at the beginning, tier one, so this should not be a problem at all, and we should be able to get that Sith um, feat out of the way. Look at this. Boom. We are just deleting opponents left, right, and center. Okay, Sidious. Boom. Oh, ho, ho, nice. Nice. Maul took them all out. Okay, so that was very easy. That, I think, though, is going to be the only one that I can actually do that to with a Sith team. So that was it. So I got the on-target Sith Quintet. Um, calculated risk. So what I what I could do now is uh, try taking this out with a an underdog squad. So yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay, just Vader and Palpatine. I think we've got this. Delete one tambor. Drop some stuns and delete Hoggle. Delete that Magna Guard. Boom. 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 That's probably how I should have started off. Should have just opened this right up. And then I would have gotten two. That would have been a flawless victory and the calculated risk. Okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do this with uh, this, this tier two even. I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm not, I don't have enough Sith to actually get that that bonus here. But let's see how well we, how well we can do with these two. Boom. Done. Perfect. Get rid of that Magna Guard. He is just annoying. Ouch. Got to take out this destroyer droid, and we. Oh, ouch! Holy baby Yoda! Vader just bit the the dust, the literal dust, the sand. He hates sand. Wow. Only Palpatine was standing in the end. That was actually tougher than I thought. And that was only that was only tier two. Yeah, we couldn't get that Sith um that Sith uh reward there because you need you needed five characters. And we only have two at the required gear level. But that's still that's still pretty cool. Uh and tier four we were only able to to get two stars and okay, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Um it's a I can see how there'd be a whole new kind of theory crafting that would go on here and yeah you've got five days five days 16 hours to do this so theoretically you've got enough time to to power up some some people for it this is pretty cool a whole new area of the game oh okay you can click on the top of course that makes a whole lot of sense okay so this is the global modifier dune sandstorm the end of every other turn all units are inflicted with damage over time until the end of the battle which can't be resisted okay at the end of every other turn so every other turn you get damage over time that must be why vader drops at the end there and that's global that applies to us and the enemy. Um, then there's this this player modifier, Grim Machinations. Whenever a Sith ally is defeated, all Sith allies gain 50% max health. Um, offensive stacking till the end of the battle, 50% turn meter. Whenever they defeat an enemy, Dark Ascension stacking. Dark Ascension damage received increased by 15%, damage dealt increased by 30%. Okay, so that's related to that Sith modifier. And then Malicious Minions. Okay, so this was the, the one that we read before. It's increasing the, the power of those uh, Sith uh, summons and allies there. Wow, okay, that makes sense. So you can scroll through at the top. So see, I said there was a lot to take in here, and I obviously didn't do a very good job 
of taking it in. This is actually a, a pretty cool new dimension to the game. Um, I think this is this is a nice quick overview, but I think it's actually going to take me a little while to kind of get my head around everything here. Okay, so malicious minions actually increases. That one's a two level difficulty there in the later mods. They're just all at one level. Um, at later tiers rather, just all at one level down here, level one, uh, but that increases. So that's pretty cool. And I know this is a test one too, CG are just kind of testing it out. So they'll see how it goes. Maybe some of these things, some of these modifiers will change. Maybe some of the rewards will change. We'll sort of see how it goes. But you know what? This is a cool introduction. I actually really enjoyed this today. Um, and yeah, I can see how there's going to be a lot of theory crafting, a lot of uh, stuff going into it. Now I know that we're going to introduce a new currency. No, okay. So I'd heard they were going to introduce a new currency, but I can't see it here yet. So I guess maybe that is coming later right now. It's just the challenge that we've got. But even without that additional currency, this is still, um, I think, a really interesting um, area of the game. Um, okay, so tier one was the only tier in which I was able to actually complete all of those feats. Tier two, I got two out of three, um, which, which I think is pretty good. Um, but I couldn't get that Sith, that on-target Sith quintet because I don't have uh, enough Sith characters of the higher gear and then on, on tier 3 um, I was actually only able to do flawless victory so maybe I need to maybe I need to try and do this calculated risk I need to try and take out tier 3 get that calculated risk bonus try and do it with an undersized squad um, yeah let's do it you know what I actually really enjoyed using um, Vader and Palpatine on the other one so maybe let's let's do that let's try and try and give that a go um, you know, I didn't even need to do that. That was preloaded, wasn't it? Oh well. Let's do it. Let's see how far we can get with these guys. In fact, no, I'm going to throw in, because um, this is actually pretty tough. So now that I think about it, I'm going to throw in more Insidious, and we're going to do that instead. Okay, let's go. Now that I know I'm going to get this, oh, there you go, damage over time, boom, and that applied to everyone. That's kind of brutal. That is very brutal. Wow. And it's stacking too. So we've got three already. They're on, uh, well, eight or seven respectively, because, oh, nine now for Grievous, because Vader's uh, AOE and Palpatine's as well. Okay, so boom. Bye-bye, Magna Guard. Really annoying taunt there. we got to try and get rid of Wat Tambor before he throws around too many buffs for everybody. But look, Maul is dropping. Maul is dropping. He's gonna... Boom. Bye-bye, Maul. Oh, now Sidious. Almost lost Sidious. Got a little bit of health back there. Oh, and Vader. Okay. So, oh, ooh, okay. But, oh, no. We lost... Wow. Holy baby Yoda. This is tough. Oh, <laughs> that damage over, over time is tough, and I think it's just killed us. Wow. Only the droid car still standing. Okay, that didn't go the way I wanted it to, but I've got to do this. Got to be in my bonnet now, so we're just going to throw in uh, my main squad. We're going to lose Jolie Bindo, though. Um, so he's not very powerful as an attacker. Let's do this. So it doesn't even matter if I lose people. I just have to win, having gone in with an undersized squad. So, come on. Okay, so that almost took out War Tambor. We can do this. Yep, let's get some AoE there. Boom. Okay, bye-bye, Wat Tambor. Uh, sure, let's just throw Mark down. Boom. Bye-bye, Magna Guard. Perfect. Okay, let's get rid of Poggle. Boom. Okay, we can do this. This we can do. Um, sure, I mean, if we can get rid of Grievous, let's get rid of Grievous, right? Boom, bye-bye Grievous. All right, this time we got it. There we go, there we go, perfect. Perfect, so I was able to get two out of three on tier three as well for some extra ship store currency. Well, that actually really was a lot of fun. Um, I can see myself really spending a lot of time trying to get, you know, getting my Sith up right now, for example, to see if I can get that bonus. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it in time, but a lot of other things that I'm farming, but I can really see how players who are maybe uh, higher up in the game, they're, they're at a better place, they've got more gear, more expendable credits in game, this would be another thing, another reason to gear up characters that maybe you haven't invested in. I think this is really cool. I also think it's going to lead to some really interesting theory crafting, especially with those kind of global modifiers and things like that that you really don't have any control over and that there are 
apply, applied to everyone. That was really brutal, the damage over time. So there you go, that's it. That's the first look at Galactic Challenges. That was the Tatooine Separatist Challenge. Um, I really enjoyed it, but what do you think? Um, what do you think of this video? What do you think of Galactic uh, Challenges? Have you had a go? Be really interested to hear your or comments uh, and criticisms and suggestions and just generally your experiences down below. That's it for Liam Maiden gameplay today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be back with more gameplay videos for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force every week. In the meantime, look after each other and remember, the Force will be with you always.